the shocking tale of the four-year-old girl's defilement by her uncle led us to Luero district to seek the doctors who examined her. <laughs> One of the doctors at the clinic who declined to speak on camera confirmed that the girl was indeed admitted at their clinic and that the four-year-old was discharged on the 17th of this month. We embarked on searching for the girl's home after getting information that she was living with her mother in a place called Ngoma, about 80 kilometers from Luero town. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. The distance we need to go from here to there, you cannot <laughs> foot for a whole day and reach there. <laughs> and you can imagine what's happening. God knows. Navigating through the bushy terrain for about 45 kilometers was quite a challenge. But we were determined to know the plight of this four year old girl. We finally arrived at the girl's home situated along the border of Nakaseki in Masindi district. I spoke with the victim's sister, who is reported to have witnessed the dreadful incident. Mama Kaya is a man to the Romorian to Zakuria. He called her to eat with him, but we saw him put her on the bed. The uncle who is accused of defiling the girl was staying in this house and just next to it is where the girl lived with her parents. This house is said to have been occupied by the grandmother of Natlinda. At the time of the ugly incident, Natlinda's mother had gone to deliver about 30 kilometers from here, that is in Nakasongora district, only to return the next day to hear bad news. <laughs> Her private parts were bleeding and later parts started oozing. Uh, this matter was uh, an act of what, which I can term as an in inhuman or a bestiality act. At around 5.30 p.m., the defiled girl, her three-month-old brother and her mother arrived from Goma where they had spent a night after she was discharged. She looks weary and seems oblivious about being in the same compound where she met her tormentor. Her father Edward Nzirimu was at home the time the incident happened. I can never trust my child with anyone. The defiled girl has six siblings. Their father passed on some time back, and their uncle Zirimu took on their mother as his wife. Her alleged tormentor, Kalebu Mutadiebwa, is also her uncle. Defiling her, he went to graze the cattle. I cleaned her and tried to make her sleep. The defiled girl whose life was nearly shattered by her own uncle says she went through the ordeal more than once. She told me he had defiled her for a week and would buy her sweets to keep quiet. According to close relatives, her father did not want the matter reported to police and had suggested the matter be sorted at home. The police got this information, they had to swing in action, investigations were done, uh, this man was apprehended. However, it was also difficult to report this gruesome act in time, as nearest police post is about 30 kilometers from the girl's home. What we have decided now is to embark on an intensive community policing in, the niche, uh, in such homesteads. For now, the girl will cope up with this horrific experience, which has also rendered the lives of other girls in the area at risk because they trek long distances through bushes to get their schools in others' homesteads.
according to statistics from the African Network for Prevention and Protection Against Child Abuse and Neglect, AMPCAN, at least 628 children are defiled per month, 145 children per week, and at least 21 children per day in Uganda. Worse still, latest police records indicate that defilement rates have increased by 3% and that many cases aren't reported due to several factors. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.